adventurers. Today we're going to the Loco Borough and it's right up this escalator right here. Now apparently they are known for their guacamole and a really interesting activity. So let's roll the intro and have some food at the Loco Borough. Apparently, instead of bull riding, they have burrow riding, and it's right over here. I'm not sure if anybody's gonna do it today while we're here, but if they do, I'll try to catch it for us. We won't be doing that. We did not bring the proper camera for that particular endeavor. No. Guys, you know what time it is. It's time to look at the menu. And this is the local borough fresh Mexican tuna menu right here. And there's so many choices and so many bright colors. Okay, so it's two full pages it looks like and then some more things on the back. And then we also have a drink menu. And I don't know for sure what's gonna work out for me. So many different burritos here. Tacos, chimichangas, enchiladas. Okay, we have some difficult decisions to make, guys. Out of all the menu, I determined there's one thing we for sure won't get. Just by the description of this, oh my gosh, that's so much food. Yeah, sure, you get a free t-shirt. Would we ever get the free t-shirt? Absolutely not. I mean, let's just be honest. I'm not gonna be able to eat whatever it is I get. If I was to get a burrito that big, I would be taking at least three quarters of it back to the hotel. Okay, I went ahead and opted to get this. It has a sugary rim that is delicious. This is a passion fruit, frozen beverage. And so I'll be having that. And I just noticed that they placed me literally beside this. So if somebody kicks off and decides to do it, we have the front row seats, guys. I wanted to show you, they do bring two kinds of salsa and this one is a little bit too chunky for me, so I'm gonna pass on that one. But this one looks delicious. And it comes with chips, so we're gonna start off with that today. Of course, like always, we, we do the dip test, so. Yeah, we're gonna like that. We're gonna like that a lot. For a spray. Mm. Okay, so our plate just arrived, and look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm trying something different. Typically, I am not a huge fish person however the guy swore by this and said that it was cooked to perfection so we're going to be trying out this medley of three fish tacos and then it's served with black beans and rice of course we still have some of our chips and salsa over here so here we go now i do see that there are some tomatoes on here so i will be doing some altering of the food real quick To their defense, I did not ask to cut the tomatoes, so that's my fault. And now that I've done that, it looks delicious. It looked really good before, but I just don't eat tomatoes, guys. And I've covered that on several of my food videos before. So I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dive into the sides first. So the beans and the rice, just to see what they taste like. And then we'll move into the tacos and talk about each one of them individually, okay? Okay, we have a really good bite here with a little bit of beans, a little bit of rice. beans have a lot of flavor to them. The rice is pretty typical of rice, but it's kind of nice because the juice from the beans actually goes into the rice, which gives it a really good flavor. So I think I'm gonna mix this together now that I know that I love both of them. And then from there, we will have the perfect bite in every bite. Talk about each one of these tacos. The first one that we have is a really, really yummy grilled fish. And it looks like it has a lot of texture to it. It doesn't look like it's overcooked. It looks like it's falling apart, super flaky. 
So that's exactly what I would want if I was eating a fish taco. Um, I'm not opposed to fish tacos. If you recall, one of my first food videos, San Clemente, we ate fish tacos. They were delicious. The next one is a shrimp taco, and then the last one is a fried fish taco. And they all have this mango and pineapple salsa on them. So I can't wait. I am gonna squeeze a little bit of lime onto these and then take a taste test of each one. In no particular order, we're just gonna work from me to you guys. The first one was the fried fish. This is the one that I'm a little bit more hesitant about because I don't love like fried fish usually, but this is a nice crispy flaky crust. So let's try it guys. See it has a little bit of slaw on there as well as that mango salsa. Mmm. That actually is super good. Mmm. The hint of lime on the top gives it like a like a bitterness almost and then the mango and pineapple brings a sweetness to it that kind of resonates into that slaw and the fish is nice and flaky so the crust like absorbs the flavors that are around it and makes it just like this perfect marriage I really like this one okay next up is the shrimp taco and this one is a little bit more messy looking Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just piece it all together here. Now I do see that this one has some red bell peppers in there and this little sprig of cilantro on top. I feel like I'm going to drop this, so I'm going to kind of put it together a little bit differently. Okay, I think that that's gonna be better for me as a whole, maybe. Okay. like the char on the shrimp on this one you can taste it it feels like it's just like right off the grill and then it has those similar flavors to the fish taco from a while ago but the char just brings it to life a little bit differently catching the combination of the bell pepper in there now a little bit of cilantro pick up that sauce below it's perfect guys this one new favorite the shrimp taco okay last but not least let's dive into this grilled fish taco. Now this is the one that I am probably the most intrigued about. This one has tons of the mango salsa on there and the fish is that nice flaky fish. It kind of reminds me of that flaky tuna that I had when I was in San Clemente. I'm gonna make sure that I have it all kind of put together again. This one is by far the biggest of them. Okay so we have a nice bite. This one is the most messy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need a napkin. The salsa, there's a lot more of it on there. So it makes it a lot more messy. <laughs> but it's really good. I will say in comparison to the other two though, I don't love this one as much. This one's really good. But shrimp taco is my favorite. Okay guys, so I'm going to continue eating my food and then I'll get back with you on my final thoughts on what I think of the food. And I'm gonna have some more of this chips and salsa too because it is delicious. Guys, I have eaten as much as I possibly can. We are down to three quarters of one taco, a quarter of one, and a heap of rice and beans because they just keep on going. Now the average person would probably be able to finish this meal. However, for some reason, because I didn't eat all day, it actually worked against me. So I am completely stuffed. Maybe I ate too many chips before the meal got here. I don't know, but it has been so good. I'm gonna wait until we go outside to give you my final thoughts, and I'm gonna show you how much all this cost also. These bar stools, guys, as you sit on them, it's like you're behind, there's other things behind, so there's Superman, there's the donkey, and then so on and so forth. I don't want to show anybody's faces, but isn't that funny? Here around the burrow, they have kegs with tops on them. 
so this is the final verdict and this is the address if you're interested in coming i had the frozen beverage for $7.50, the seafood trio, which was the three seafood tacos for $14.99, that totaled out to be after tax $26.04. And now it's time for us to go back down to the parkway, and then we'll take off our mask and talk about our final thoughts on the Loco Borough. Okay, we come outside from the local borough and it is now raining guys. So we're gonna be walking down the parkway as we do this final thought on the local borough here. All in all, it was very, very good. I think that for $26 getting two different meals, that's not too bad. That averages out to be $13 a meal, which here in Gatlinburg is very fair. Now again, that probably wouldn't have been two meals to everyone, but to someone like myself, definitely is two meals so i'm taking this back to the hotel with me and i'll probably have like a midnight snack later all in all the theming is super cool they have some neat little tiki areas that you can sit on they have a roof deck which you can see from here right there so that's also a cool feature they do have a really neat vibe overall so i definitely recommend checking out the loco borough if you are here in gatlinburg if you've enjoyed today's video and enjoying seeing some of the foods that they have there make sure that you leave a like on this video and uh, subscribe i'm going to be sharing lots of other food and attractions here in the gatlinburg pigeon forge sevierville smoky mountain area until next time guys